Okay, so what we're doing is we're making a virtual tour of the Boland Science Hall to be viewed with the Oculus Rift. Um, we're making the models, everything in Blender, so like the desks, the chairs, all of that stuff we model by hand, and then we import into the game engine Unity, so you can actually use it with the Oculus. And so the end result is you want students who are incoming freshmen or international students to be able to take a virtual tour of Boland so that they know where they're going and what the layout is before they actually come here. Well, to have the virtual tour, we, can't, we don't have any equipment to make a scan of the rooms, a 3D scan. So we need to actually make models of everything. So what we do is we take measurements of objects take some reference images, and then we create these objects in the 3D Modeler Blender and put textures on them, make it look like the real object, and then export them. Uh, making sure that everything is a re realistic proportions with stuff, make sure that the measurements are accurate, and getting high quality textures that actually look like what the actual room looks like. Um, another thing is the way Unity does animations we had to create models for, uh, for example, if there's a door that opens on the left and opens on the right, we can't just make a mirror image of it. We have to remake it from scratch. Well, actually, um, a couple of years ago, I had a computer applications class where we do presentations on contemporary topics. And one of the groups did a presentation over the Oculus Rift. And at that point, I was sold. So uh, when our chair asked what purchases we wanted to make through HE funds, I suggested that we buy a couple of the Oculus Rifts because I think this is going to be our future. Um, so she was willing to do that. We got the Oculus Rifts in and then I asked for a faculty grant along with Dr. Bing Yang Wei. He's one of our new faculty in the computer science department. And he and I put together a faculty grant in order to buy a nice graphics laptop to work with the Rifts and also to pay some of the students to do the research. It's not a lot of money, but it, you know, it got some students involved and we've just had a great time since. There are so many possibilities. Um, I hope at some point we can do some cross-disciplinary work, maybe work with the geosciences where you could pick up a rock and open it up and look inside. Uh, even with biology, we could look at the molecules. So it, it's very open-ended. There are so many things that could be done with it. I, I hope we get some good collaborative work later on the road. I uh, worked through and learned Blender. Uh, it was brand new to me before I got here. Um, and the other thing I did was uh, I created the poster that we had, so I kind of collected everybody's work uh, and created the poster that we presented at the, uh, we, we presented both at the CCSC conference um, down in Austin, Texas, and then uh, we also presented our poster here at MSU at the undergraduate uh, fair. I, I was responsible at first for using something called Elite Motion. Um, what it basically is, Leap Motion Controller, what it basically is, is um, it's a controller that scans your hand and it projects a 3D model of your hand on screen. So basically you can kind of pick stuff up, right? And that's what, it, that's what we want. We want to integrate this with the VR so we could pick stuff up while we have on the Unity headset. I didn't know the Oculus Rift, Rift was that cool really. It's one thing to experience putting it on and hearing about it. Because really and truly, putting it, the, just hearing about it, you think of just, you, you can't actually feel the immersion. You, th you think it's just something you're seeing through a screen. You still think that. When you actually put it on and use it, then you actually feel immersed. And yeah, you actually feel like you're interacting with the virtual environment. and that those things are much closer than we think they are.